What's up and welcome to my channel. I recommend you to also take a look at my other channel, which is Edward Excel. I share a lot of interesting things. With that being said, a lot of traders think that smart money make them profitable. I recommend to pay close attention to all the things that are shared in my channel right here, whether they are the shorts or the videos or also the written things that I share and most people don't take a look at. I recommend you to take a look at these things because a lot of people, as I said already, think that smart money make you, makes you profitable. But why? If everyone knows about smart money, why is not everyone profitable yet? Why are 95% of the traders still losing money? This doesn't make sense because it seems like smart money is the holy grail, but at the same time, 95% of the people are still losing money. Of course, it can be a mindset problem. Of course, it can be, you know, not good risk management and a lot of other things. But at the same time, it looks like smart money doesn't really work. Is that really it? I'm not sure. Actually, I am. I know that, you know, I know for sure that you need to have a statistical edge when you are trading. Smart money doesn't make you profitable. My strategy has some concepts of smart money. It actually has many concepts that are put together and many others that I don't really take a look at. The reason why is because you need to find a statistical edge on the market, whether it is with smart money or, or with other things, and you need to make sure that your strategy is backtested and works statistically. We are here and I am here in this channel to show you concepts that are making me profitable. So with that being said, let's get started. It was nice as well. This was nice as well. It was a great trade right here just missed it how he uh, i was looking to manage all the streams going crazy a little bit with the streams and everything um so i wasn't really on charts because i was trying to understand how the stream was working but this is a great trade right here previous high right here we have liquidity plus asian range liquidity we grab the asian range liquidity perfect asian range liquidity is grabbed but anyway we just go above asian range here what did I say at the beginning of the stream? We want to look for previous highs, previous lows, liquidity to be grabbed. Now, right here, we grab it. And what did I say about uh, your GP earlier? Actually, let me look at your GP quickly. Still going down a bit, retracing. Let's see, we are a couple pips away from the stop. If we hit it, we hit it and that's it we move on to the next trade anyway this was a great trade as well fortunately i was managing the stream we are 0.2 pips away from stop let's see anyway right here we had previous high broken just same pattern as well just this one is good that one was bad here we break it we break it with which move with this move it's pretty easy it's always always the same this move now keep in mind we need to pay attention with which move liquidity is grabbed okay with which move liquidity is grabbed here we grab the liquidity next we go for internal liquidity you don't want to enter from this supply this supply is obvious you don't want to enter from this supply you want to use this supply as liquidity and then enter enter possibly from just above it so this would have been good if you don't want to enter right away you can wait for a candle with good volume but um, the volume conversation would be another day we have on the stream someone who's saying check EU let's check EU let's check EU oh this type of movement, you know, this type of movement is not something that I really trade. Let me see. 15 minutes, nothing on the one hour. No, EU, I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it at least until we go for this previous high liquidity. Because most of the times we just trap most of the traders in. Just trap most of the traders in right here. Your GP to Canal, yes. First, kind of ironic. First trade of the stream. Stop. Nice. That's good. That's good. It's a good way to start. 
just to just to stay ready stay on my heels stay ready to actually get better with a good restored ratio with some good trades this trade i would take it any day i've been you know i've been back testing for a lot i've been forward testing on live markets for a very long time and you have a crazy accuracy when we have a fake confirmation right here as we had earlier so we touch the key area we go above it a lot of traders are already getting involved then after we have a good confirmation right here even better if we have a body closure above it that would have been the best and then after that it can be, it can be great to get involved we have a great accuracy when this happens and by saying this let, let me show to you why show you why these are hundreds of charts that I've been printing out from trades that I've taken, trades that I've taken, backtesting sessions, um, trades that I, um, you know, that maybe took me out or trades that actually hit a take profit. These are all charts, hundreds of charts. And most of them include the fake change of Carter, the good change of Carter. I don't know if you see the first one. If you see the first one, I don't really know. Let me see here on the camera. If you see the first one, it's a rate about fake change of Carter and change of Carter. And the, the accuracy is crazy. You just must know what you're doing. So guys, please have a statistical approach when you're coming to trading. Here we took an L, but we know that most of the times that we're going to take a trade like this, we're going to be right. Okay. We had the whole breakdown right here where we know that the liquidity was swept by this move. And this move is either caused by this demand or the lower demand, which we just reached almost. Actually, we didn't reach it unless we want to take the whole demand right here. Because at the end of the day, demand is the last down move before the up move. And we can have this whole down move before the up move. But anyway, that's another story. And as I was saying, we know that liquidity was swept right here. Therefore, this is a fake change of character. And that's it. And then we look for good confirmations in order to continue up. Well, at the same time, if we go on JR30, which is a which is a chart that I actually love trading, right here we have the previous highs. This highs we get sweep of liquidity. A lot of people are getting involved right here. You know that you you would get involved right here. You would mark this supply out. You look at charts right here. We you have this change of Carter, which is a fake change of Carter right here and then you will get involved you will go to profit a little bit you will get involved right here you will go to profit a little bit and then you will hit your stop loss now we need to grab liquidity liquidity was grabbed and this is the man that grabs the liquidity this demand gets broken we get internal liquidity swept with continuation to the downside this is the setup this is the setup this is a setup that i will um print later just like all of these other setups that i printed in the past all of the best setups i print them and then i also have a folder with all of the bad setups so for this reason we were on your gp and we decided to go along and right now we're looking still for confirmations we check two trades per day and then we check it out let's see right now right now we are at demand And we need confirmation, of course. But if we keep going lower, then that's it. I saw a question, do you trade gold? Yes, I do trade gold. But trust me, gold, long term, I, I released a video the other day. You must understand, I'm not, I'm not just a trader. I love to invest. I love to invest um, or swing trade as well. Um, and gold is an amazing investment. I went on the monthly chart, you might say, yeah, the monthly is crazy, but let me show you something. Let me show you something, guys. This is a cycle that happened every single time. This takes years, of course, it takes years. We're going back to crazy times, but anyway, check it out. What happens? When the previous all-time high, this was the all-time high that we had a uh, bear retracement, when the previous all-time high is broken, we get a retracement to the last demand, to the last down move before the up move, and then we go crazy. We continue to the upside. Now, let's check it out. 
we marked a new all-time high right here retracement bear market whatever you want to call it it's not really a bear market but retracement this is gold monthly chart crazy here we break it break off the previous all-time high what happens retracement to the last demand that broke the high continuation crazy bull market what did just happened during this year previous all-time high was broken right here and then we had a retracement we had a retracement i marked out this whole you know doji candle that was formed right here just retraced and if we want to even look we uh, we grab the liquidity but anyway that's not really important we are going crazy right now gold i would trade gold only with buys i mean maybe i will enter some cells actually if we have an intraday nice sell but that's not the point I, i'm buying gold heavily for swing trades i'm looking for entries i'm looking for nice retracements to the downside in order to get involved these these are crazy opportunities <laughs>
let's go back to our charts let's go back to our charts and see what is going on nice so we manipulate the demand great perfect now let's see if we get a confirmation of this type so here we have equal highs which is great i would like to see something like this in order to continue Great. Yeah, don't get involved in this. I got a message here in in the in the live chat, and someone was like, "Oh, is this confirmation on UGP right here? This is not great. This is not good structure. You can have good volumes. You can have whatever. This is not good structure. So we're looking for a good structure. That's why I just said that we want to see this. Now, if this happens, of course, we might want to get involved." Perfect. Internal liquidity grabbed. We can now look for buys. Perfect. Price goes from internal to external liquidity. Always. It's just up to us to understand where is internal and external liquidity. course just a quick call to action if you want to learn about all of my strategy how i look at charts how i enter um right here how i enter how i uh, all of my trades if you want more live trading because i will do more live trading with my students here are the plans you have cheaper options for example the light option where you actually get only certain things included so check it out the link is down here or you can wait for the signals but we only open spots a couple way a couple times per month please check usd chf i don't trade it i don't trade usd chf you already know you already know that we need to go higher than this high then after we can look into getting involved let's see let's see Fifteen minutes internal liquidity taken right here, as you can see. Internal liquidity. Check 
check us 30 why what's here i don't I don't really see any opportunity on US 30 right now. Coming back to demand. Better opportunity in US 30. Why? No, I'm not really seeing it. You don't hear the music? How don't you hear the music? Are you sure you're not hearing the music? Oh, now you're here. Perfect. Perfect. So yes, 30, we have this demand right here, but I would like to see a nice manipulation of it. Like, it's kind of obvious that we usually come back to demand and just, you know, stop at demand. Sometimes it's great to see a manipulation of the price below it. And then a continuation. Let's go back to your GP. Now, a couple things to pay attention to. NZD CAD, previous high broken. Precise broken by this demand, okay, so so here Best trade of the day was Jer 30, but I was here for you guys trying <laughs> to figure out the stream what was going on I don't know. I've never been on a stream Your GBP break to the upside after taking internal liquidity. You want me to show my candlestick colors? Um, maybe I will in next lives. So stay tuned if you want to copy them. UGP skyrocketing. Let's wait. Let's wait. Your chart is not too clear according to who it just needs to be clear for me perfect so you know you know already my friends you know already we're looking for us 30 this demand area also because asian range is trending which is a nice confluence to us asian range is trending nice confluence looking for this demand area but we are also open to see also, actually, it would be even better to see some demand area manipulation to the downside. So even if we break it, I will still look for certain type of confirmations if we got it. And we're looking for Euro GP. We're looking for Euro GP. If I enter the trade, the signal will be sent to my signal members. And also, I will share the chart with my students. Actually, I'll share the chart now. And that's it. What broker do you think is better to use? If you check the links here below, you see um, my, the broker that I recommend.
That being said, we've been live for around 40, 50 minutes. And you know already that we'll be live also tomorrow. I'll be live also tomorrow. Um, let me think about it. What time tomorrow? Possibly the same or or maybe for New York, New York session. Which one would you prefer? New York session or or London session? London, New York, both? <laughs> you want both, right? You, yeah, you want both. Of course. Of course, of course. We have 140 people connected. That's great. That's great. Now, don't expect me that I will call out every single trade that I take. I cannot just give you the food like like this. I will print. I will put out my analysis. I will tell you what I'm looking for, and then of course I will call out some live trades. But at the end of the day, stop loss and take profit. Like I send entry stop loss and take profit to my signal members. They, they must have a benefit as they are my students, my members. Here I will go, I will give you all the source, all the source for free, all the all of my analysis, all of my way of thinking, all of my way of looking at the charts, all of my knowledge also on how to manage emotions and how to manage risk because I have nothing to hide. Today I took a loss. Today I took a loss on your GP earlier. And was I worried about it? Did you see me worry? about it not really right for this reason it's it is super important that you keep in mind that i'll be here i'll share with you everything that you need to know in order to become a profitable trader but don't expect me to just give you you know a hundred percent of it that's i'll give a hundred percent to my students i'll give hundred percent to my members because that's that's what i'm here to do looking at your GP if we get a nice retracement I need to see the volumes let's see let's see what happens This being said, live streaming for today is over, guys. It was great. It was great. My first stream right here. My first stream actually with you guys connected. Uh, we're making history right here. Thank you for being connected. We're coming back tomorrow, though. We're coming back tomorrow with more. With more trades. Maximum two, two trades per day. And with more tips. Because if you look back at the stream today, I shared stuff about gold and silver that no one is looking for no one knows and i'll share also more stuff tomorrow i'll share more stuff every single day so stay ready thank you for connecting and i'll see you soon